Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. The Olympic gold medalist, UFC flyweight champion, and again, you talk about work ethic. That conversation begins with the messenger. It absolutely does. As a young boy, Henry understood that he wanted gold bigger than any high school kid should chase. So he moved to the Olympic Training Center and he trained with me as I was getting ready for the Olympic team prior as a little kid because he knew winning an NCAA title wasn't enough for him. Ultimately, he became Olympic champion, the youngest in US history, and now he's the UFC champion. What a career by Henry Cejudo. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. McGregor is 32, Cejudo is 33. McGregor will have the 10 inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? Yeah. You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. The slip, and then the counter by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Lands flush with that right hand. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom <laughs> That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Boom! Big jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take.
chase that finish down now. About 25 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Flush right hand is two. Game of inches right Damn there, man. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Effective jab there by McGregor. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, nice. Swing and a miss by McGregor. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Throwing that jab, no good. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only the strikes, not only the strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Jim. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get trouble. <laughs> oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. 44 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. Well, in terms of the accuracy rate, not great. Oh. Oh. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, Turn he down. has to be attacking that cut, John to be. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Wow! Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, he's been pretty accurate. That one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to establish that jab once again. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> McGregor's lower jaw now starting to show signs of... Oh! Oh! oh. And kick there as he lands. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, working inside his opponent's guard. What a fight so far! 
All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got a good very bad. Great punch landed with so much power. at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard here. He's really comfortable here working off of his back, DC. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The four, he can... Oh, he hurt him! Well, more often than not, when he is struck, he has landed. Six toes. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout.